Welcome to the Curriculum Cafe videos. During this video, we will be taking a look at foundational fluency activities and how to find them within the Eureka Math curriculum. Before we get into Eureka Math, let's take a quick look at the required grade level fluencies. One thing I wanna point out is that while students need to be fluent with their grade level fluency, this is not an expectation until the end of the year. So for example, by the end of kindergarten, students will be able to fluently add and subtract within five. Keep in mind that fluency is not the same as to know from memory. Fluency means that students can come up with an efficient strategy within 30 seconds. The only memory requirements are in second and third grade, and those are listed with an annotation for each. This year has brought in more complexities that we have had before, and we have found that many of the fluency activities within the Great Minds curriculum are not appropriate for some of our students to help them reach their grade level fluency goals. We hear all the time to just substitute the fluency activities from grade level activities, but how do we do this and how do we find these appropriate foundational level fluency activities quickly? Let's start by getting into the Great Minds curriculum website. So you'll go to www.greatminds.org. Once you're there, you will use your OMSD school email to log in. Um, so if you are at Arroyo, you will log into arroyo at omsd.net as your username, and then your password would be Eureka Math, one word, all lowercase. If you're having a hard time logging into the Great Minds website, just go ahead and send me an email and I can help you with that. Once you are logged in, you will go ahead and click into your dashboard. This is what your login um, website uh, screen will look like. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go into the Eureka Navigator. Most school sites have this pinned up at the top. If for some reason you can't see this right at the top, you can also find this by clicking into My Resources. When you click into the Eureka Navigator, you should be able to see a year long curriculum overview. This is where you're going to go ahead and click into whatever module you are currently in. So if I am a third grade teacher and I am currently teaching module five, I will click into that module. Here, I will be able to see my TE, my student books, and then if I scroll down, I will see all the individual lessons. To find the foundational fluency activities that align with this module, you're going to want to click into um, the foundational standards that you can find up at the top right-hand corner. So under foundational standards, you can go ahead and click. And here you will find all the foundational st standards that align with this third grade module five module. So I'm gonna go ahead and click into one of these uh, fluencies, one of these uh, standards, sorry. And then it'll take me to all of the second grade lessons that align with this. So if I click into any lesson title, this will take me to that specific lesson. And then I have all of the fluency activities right there in front of me. Let me do that one more time because I know I did that very quickly. So again, from the homepage on the year long curriculum overview that you can find by clicking into the navigator, you're going to click into your module that you're currently in. So this time, let me click into grade five. Um, let's do module four. From here, top right hand corner, you will click into foundational standards and click into whatever standard um, you feel your students are lacking. So I'll go ahead and click on that first one. That will then take me to all of the different lessons that align with that standard. So if I'm a fifth grade teacher, I may wanna click into some fourth grade activities. Um, again, if I just click into the lesson title that I want, it will take me straight into that lesson. And now I have all of those fourth grade fluency activities in front of me. That's the easiest way to find all of the previous grade level fluency activities that align with your current module. If you have any questions or if you're having uh, difficulty finding any of these fluency activities, go ahead and send me an email. My email is rosa.gutierrez at omsd.net. Thank you. Thanks for watching this episode of the Curriculum Cafe. Click like and subscribe to join the cafe for more classroom tips from the TOA team.